The gunman made even this massive Clackamas Town Center Mall feel too small as thousands of shoppers tried to escape. All I heard was, I am the shooter, and then shots rang out. Five, six shots. We had time to stop and say, what is this noise? And we realized, oh my gosh, that's a gun. Investigators say the gunman was 22-year-old Jacob Roberts wearing a hockey mask, shooting with an AR-15 semi-automatic rifle. They say he had stolen it Tuesday from someone he knew. They don't know yet how many rounds he fired, but the bullets killed two people, 54-year-old Cindy Ewell and 45-year-old Stephen Forsyth, a father of two who coached youth sports. A third victim, Christina Shevchenko, is still in the hospital. The county sheriff calls it a heartbreaking tragedy, but adds, We all need to be very thankful that this is incident wasn't much worse. One reason, he says, law enforcers were on the scene one minute after that first 911 call. There's one person that's saying that there's a man with a rifle in the other food court and that he's still shooting people. Another reason, the sheriff says Robert's rifle jammed while he fired in the food court. Though he later fixed it, people had more time to escape. Officials say an early investigation shows Roberts had no significant criminal history. They say Robert shot himself in the mall, removing the chance for them to ask him how he could do this. Police say the victims didn't know the gunman, but all happened to be in the mall food court when he started shooting. Stephen Forsyth was 45 years old and owned a store at the mall. His grieving family released this statement. Stephen Matthew Forsyth was a loving husband, father of two children, son, brother, uncle, youth sports coach, and friend to the many people who had the privilege to meet him. He had a great sense of humor and a zest for life. He had vision and a belief in others that brought great joy and value to many lives. He will be sorely missed by all who knew him. Also killed, Cindy Yule, 54 years old. She lived in northeast Portland. She was shopping at the mall when she was shot, her family saying... Cindy was everybody's friend. She was a wonderful person who was very caring and put others first. The only shooting victim to survive, Christina Shevchenko, 15 years old. Doctors are removing bullet fragments and are treating severe injuries to her lung and liver. She's in serious condition at a Portland hospital. We are optimistic about her eventual recovery. However, we have to be very cautious as this is a very serious uh, wound from a, an assault rifle. Her family has set up a page for her on Facebook where they say Christina was at the mall with a friend when the gunman came out of Macy's and started firing. Her parents can't say enough about the friend who stayed with Christina after she was shot in a statement saying, The first person to be thanked is Aliona, her friend and schoolmate at Clackamas Middle School, who immediately called 911 and remained by her side until the emergency service providers arrived. It's her second near-death experience in just a few months. Christina was riding inside this van back in August with her six siblings and two friends. A driver crossed the center line in Vancouver, Washington, slamming into them. Her sister ended up in the hospital surrounded by family. This time, it's Christina who needed emergency surgery, now embraced by her family, all praying for a full recovery.